West Indies, Hugh, you did the unthinkable and beat your Australian cricket team in a test match. We were talking about this a couple of weeks ago. The West Indies were well beaten and I was talking about how great this Australian cricket team was. And then all of a sudden, turn around, play a test match and uh, the West Indies stun the great Australian cricket, cricket team and get a win seemingly out of nowhere. Um, you know, they... They still didn't look great with the bat, but some hearty West Indians crickety, cricket uh, got them over the line, and which I am thinking is one great upset. You know, they were written off, um, told they weren't good enough, uh, and just, you know, again, this is we haven't seen a good West Indies cricket team, test cricket team, in a very long time, and to go into Australia and get the win was massive for, I think, cricket and test cricket yeah. as a whole, um, but West Indian cricket as well. Saying that and and talking about that victory, which I think it was about 19 runs in the end, um, and a famous, I think it was Shamar Joseph, if I'm pronouncing that right, uh, the young West Indians fast mm. bowler who pretty much broke his foot the night beforehand and then came out and took the, the match-winning wicket um, showed a lot of heart, and so I thought let's let's dive in into what is the greatest upsets in sporting history, or just some upsets that we like quite a lot. Now, I'm going to kick us off. I've got three of my upsets. Um, the first one is it's 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 not a one-off upset. It's it's more of a season long of upsets that no one could believe happened. It's Leicester yeah. winning the Premier League yes. in uh, 2015, I believe it was, 2015-2016 season, um, where, yeah, like it just kept happening and you just kind of sat there and went, is this going to happen? Is this going to happen? Is this going to happen? And eventually it happened. It was uh, <clears throat> one of the greatest stories, I think. Probably It's probably going to be the greatest story of the century. We'll be looking back yeah. in, you know, the late 2000s, uh, you know, the late... 2100s, and you'll be sitting there and going, "What? how did someone like Leicester win the, the Premier mm-hmm. League? Um, especially now when we're looking back, even now, you look back, this was, you know, under 10 years ago, and guess what? They're playing in the Championship. They're not even in the Premier League anymore. So that's kind of just say something about where that that win came, where, where that upset came yeah. from, and, and so on and so forth. Second one of mine um, is an individual piece of just amazement now Mike Tyson was on a run he was the dearest man in the world would put him in the ring with anyone and you'd be like yeah he's gonna win Buster Douglas takes a fight he's a 42 to 1 chance of winning not great odds and does the unthinkable and beats Mike Tyson and the reason I love this is there's lots of boxing ones you could go you remember Muhammad Ali bet Sonny Liston and when Muhammad Ali bet George Foreman but those ones as much as I think they are upsets Buster Douglas didn't really achieve much else other than this. And again, there he's had an illustrious career in boxing. If you become the world heavyweight champion, you're a pretty good boxer. But to beat prime Mike Tyson was just something different. And I still watch, you know, I've seen videos of this. Yeah. Obviously, you couldn't see it live. But seen videos, seen everything around it. It's just an incredible story where you go, how did that happen? That, that could not have happened. That just what happened to Mike Tyson that day, yeah, it's just a special moment, I think, in sporting worlds where a person so underrated can deliver and and beat one of the best, a very David versus Goliath type sporting moment in history. And then my last one is the New York Giants beating the uh, New England Patriots in the Super Bowl. Uh, obviously, New England had been undefeated up to that point. We're looking to really destroy, I guess, um, everyone's belief on what a, 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 a team can be and match the uh, Miami Dolphins' undefe- undefeated season. But then the New York Giants of Eli Manning come through and mm. do the unthinkable. And again, it's that's one of those ones where I sat there and I went, I cannot believe that that has happened. I've sat there and watched, you know, this team that I thought was unbeatable lose to a team that was quite beatable, wasn't anything special. And again, another David versus Goliath situation yeah. where it's just, yeah, just incredible. So those are my three that are, that really stand out for me. QZ, what stands out for you? Yeah. So I've got, I've got a few in here. This was really hard for me to decide. I've even been sort of amending this list even, even up till now, because I'm just trying to order these in my head. I just, there's so many upsets and I think that's a great, for the for the sporting world, 
Um, now, my number one pick, I think I'm going into the game, you wouldn't classify it as an upset, the final result. However, the circumstances within the game then leads it to become an upset because it's a comeback. And I've actually got two here because I've got two tied. I just can't separate because one's playoffs, one's regular season. It's NFL game. The first, the, it is the the comeback, which is the 1993 playoff win of the Buffalo Bills over the Houston Oilers, where they were down 35 to three, the largest deficit in an NFL game to ever be overcome. Up until the second game, which is the Minnesota Vikings in 2022, only two years ago, where they overcame a 33 point deficit to win the game. I think these, if you go into those games at those points, I think those comebacks, I think that makes them upsets, right? When you're down 32, 33 points to a a team, I think at that point, everyone's written you off. There is no, there you have zero, zero chance in here. The analytics all say you've got less than 1% chance. That to me makes it an upset that that team can come back from that and win that game. The thing about it as well, that makes it, that much more impressive to me is that they have less time to pull off an upset compared to like the giants and the Patriots to bowl. Yes. A fantastic upset, but the giants had the whole game to beat the Patriots, right? The, the bills and the Vikings in this instance had less than that. They had half a game basically to, to overcome these deficits, less than half a game, I think. And they still managed to pull off that upset. So that's for me, puts it up there. Another, my second one is another very recent one. Um, and it's Saudi Arabia beating Argentina at the 2022 world cup. Cause Argentina went on to win that world cup as well. <laughs> like we can't forget that. Like Argentina is the world cup champions and Saudi Arabia beat them. Right. Saudi Arabia. Like who could ever have seen that coming for the eventual world champions, Argentina, they took them on and they won that for me was flabbergasting to see that flabbergasting to see that. Like I'm not a big, uh, football fan, like, you know, EPL football, soccer football, whatever you want to call it. Not, I don't watch it that much. I watch the world cup. I love watching the world cup, right? Because I love watching the rugby world cup. So I love international games. Um, and that to me was shocking, just absolutely shocking, completely upset the dynamic of the world cup as well, because there were questions now about Argentina, about Messi, will he ever get it? And things like that's become amplified. So I thought that was a incredible upset. My third one is a boxing one. And I love this one. I love this one. This is one of my favorite sporting moments of all time. I am not a boxing fan. You know, I don't watch boxing, boxing UFC have minimal appeal to me, but I watched a, short documentary on this one. <laughs> and this was Anthony, Andy Rizzi, Andy Ruiz beating Anthony Joshua. You, you, it's one of those classic ones. It is an absolute tortoise in the hair story. And once I got Anthony Joshua ripped, fucking jacked, just an Adonis of a human being. The other side, you got Andy Ruiz who looks like he would offer you a decent rate to do your gardening for you or, <laughs> you know, he's a, is like someone you see down at your local gym, right? You would never think, oh yeah, this guy's a professional boxer. And then you see him get in the ring with Anthony Joshua and you're like, this guy's, this guy's toast. This guy's going to get the shit beaten out of him. Like, have they done like an amateur versus professional like matchup or something? And it all turns on one moment in this thing. I, and I, as I said, I watched this documentary and I was obsessed with it. And it was, all fell on one moment where Ruiz clipped Joshua in his ear and upset his equilibrium, upset his balance. And it put Joshua into a situation he'd never been in before where he wasn't in control, where he his body wasn't responding to what he wanted it to do. Like he'd been hit before. He's been pummeled before. He's been hit in the face, hit in the body, hit all over. He hadn't been hit in the ear before. He hadn't had his eardrum equilibrium messed up. And it was really interesting watching fighters like Mike Tyson and Evander Holyfield explain that and what that does to a person and how even within the fight, Joshua was able to come back from that. And so again, even within the fight, people started riding off Ruiz again until he just landed a couple more great shots and just 
got and Joshua was just out of it, was just done in the fight. And that for me, I love that because it was not only a huge underdog story, but it was also resiliency from Ruiz to stick in there. It's a real life Rocky type story, <laughs> like just continuing to, to hit, continuing to absorb the, the hits. And it's an absolute don't judge a book by its cover story. It's everything you want in an upset. Um, so it, I thought that was absolutely brilliant. Um, and I had a, an honorable mention here because our other podcast is a rugby podcast. So I just think it, I just don't <laughs> think we could get through this without having a rugby one in there. So my honorable mention is Japan beating South Africa in the 2015 world cup. Um, similar to Saudi Arabia beating Argentina at the football world cup out of left field. Who would have expected it? And bonus South Africa lost. So what more could you want? <laughs> what more, what more could you want? Yeah, you can't ask for much more than that. Um, yeah, but yeah, no, I like love love all of your ones as well. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, those those comebacks, especially those game comebacks, the Vikings one, I vividly remember. Yeah, and you just see them I coming just, back, and you're I just was like, in shock. I, we're in a group chat, a football group chat, and the text flying back and forth in there, it was stunning. Like yeah. it was, I don't think you could have had. I think the only thing that would have shocked us more is if Australia had been invaded, like everything else, <laughs> like it was like the, the most surprise and just shock that this is actually happening. Oh God, this has happened. Mm -hmm. How has this happened? What is going on? Um, yeah, it, it's just, for me, that's what makes it stick out in my mind. I guess, you know, I guess, you know, with my ones, these are all relatively recent. So I remember them quite vividly. So I have that emotion attached to them. Um, whereas I think, you know, you I really like your Lester one because, and I like that sort of for the inverse of the Andy Ruiz one, because Lester had to do it over a whole season, yeah. right? They had to maintain it over the whole season. Whereas, you know, the comebacks, uh, um, or, you know, the Andy Ruiz is half a game or it's one game. Like it, it's, it lives up to the saying any given Sunday type thing. Like anything can happen on the day, mm -hmm. but Leicester having to do it over that whole season is, is special in its own right. Um, and yeah, look for, for me, I just didn't pick it because I didn't want to pick the same ones that you picked, <laughs> but I think it's a deserving number one. Yeah, totally. I think it'll be one that will live in the, the history of sport for a very long time. Mm. Um, but yeah, that has been our greatest upsets in sports um, following on from the Western East cricket team doing something pretty special, but that yeah. has been the sports report this week, hosted by the Sports Booth, I've been Luke, that's been Husey. Thank you for joining us. We'll catch you in two weeks' time, more than likely wrapping up the Super Bowl with our NFL guru, Husey. But for now, goodbye. Peace.